In the previous exercise, we created a list of vehicles with the intention that a user should be able to select a vehicle in that list and then have the app take them to a more detailed view of that vehicle. In this exercise, we're going to be implementing the query that could be used to populate the more detailed view. Here we can see a potential mock-up of what the details page might look like for the vehicles. Now, you'll note that with this details page that pretty much all of the fields in our database are represented here with the one exception of the actual vehicle ID. So we don't actually see the vehicle ID here. Over in our code window, we're going to open the select1.sql file. Uh, this file should be empty at the moment. So we're going to make a few changes. Uh, so we're writing a very basic select statement. So I'm just going to start by uh, essentially rewriting a statement that I wrote previously, which is select star from mover vehicles. And then we want the vehicles table. Uh, okay, now that's a that's a basic statement, but that's selecting everything, and that's not actually what I want to do here. Now I will note I'm not going to change this from select star. I'm going to keep it as select star because remember we're basically selecting all of the columns except for the vehicle ID. Now we could technically list all of the columns here uh, and then leave out the vehicle ID, but it's actually not a bad idea in this case to leave the vehicle ID in there anyway because it allows us to check that we're actually getting the correct result. Um, the other thing too is that sometimes uh, when you're doing this kind of thing um, on the actual uh, application side, you may still want to have access to that vehicle ID in the resulting object that your uh, ORM is going to deserialize. Um, and so again, we're going to leave that vehicle ID there, in which case we're now selecting all of the fields as opposed to just a subset. Um, but then we need to add a where clause. So we're going to add a where, uh, and we are interested in the case where the ID is equal to a very specific ID, which is provided to you in the instructions. I'm just going to copy and paste that over. Um, and so that's the ID there. Uh, okay, now I'll just make sure I save my file here. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and test this. Over in my terminal, um, I'm just going to run the test file. Uh, so we're going to do test.sh and we'll just execute that. Um, this will just take a minute and you can see that everything's gone green so it looks like my tests are all passing and I must have implemented that correctly. Uh, if we actually look at the select one, uh, you can see that uh, we're asserting that we've got only one row, which is good. We don't want to select everything. Um, and then we're asserting on various values in that row as well. Um, so it looks like everything is working the way we expect. Now let's take a look at what it's actually doing. Um, so over in our CockroachDB terminal, um, I'm just going to paste that statement in and I'm going to execute it. And you can see that I get back the expected results. So I get back um, a, a single vehicle with a specific ID. Looks like it's a skateboard. Um, I'm getting a serial number. It's the street slider motherboard year 2020 slate gray. Um, so that's the vehicle that I was expecting, um, which means that everything is working correctly here.